Hi, I'm John Filardo, Vice President of Government Relations of the American Chiropractic Association, standing here again with our good friend and colleague, Rick Miller, standing here outside the Hart Senate Office Building on Capitol Hill. And Rick, uh, I know we tell our viewers this every week, but uh, we've had a lot go on in the last several days, especially in the last 72 hours. Let's talk about a little bit what's going on here in the Senate. John, we've had some very interesting developments up here. Uh, it's really quite exciting uh, if you're trying to maneuver your way through the complex politics of the situation. As a reminder to our viewers, we're here because Senator Reid was able to bring forth a health care reform bill that he melded from the Senate Finance Bill and the Senate Health Committee Bill into one package. He was successfully able to bring that bill to the floor of the Senate. He got his first procedural hurdle through with getting 60 votes. He, that occurred before Thanksgiving, as a reminder to our viewers. Now that bill has been debated for the, uh, since they've come back from Thanksgiving. They've been debating that. Huge developments yesterday. Now, it looks like what has happened. A great deal of the controversy around the bill is centered around the public option, this issue of a public option. The public option concept has been demonized in many respects. Well, yesterday it was announced, very late in the evening, that Senator Reid has successfully negotiated a new scheme, if you will. And the details haven't been released. But they've taken out that whole public plan. Well, yep. it looks like what they've done is set the public plan aside for the moment. Now, it may come back in a different type of iteration. But they've come up with a concept that would do two things. Expand Medicare down to 55 years age for eligibility. Allow people to come into that program at age 55 with some restrictions. If they can't afford health care or if their employer doesn't provide it, we don't know the details of that yet. That's one of the questions that has to be answered. But Medicare at 55 and also in lieu of the public plan, it would appear as if they're going to push the concept of taking the Federal Employees Health Benefits Plan or something virtually identical to it and making that available to a subset of the population. So it, it appear to, appears to be going down two, two tracks, Medicare expansion, FEHBP type of plan. It's sort of a hybrid of what they've been talking yes. about. As yes. you know, the whole Medicare expansion was something that the, the progressives uh, had, had wanted in lieu of the public plan. Uh, the more moderate Democrats were looking for this uh, OPM, uh, Office of right. Personal Management, right. uh, regulated scheme that you talked about. But they've taken a hybrid and, and, and they put that together right now. Now, Rick, there's been no details really no details. Uh, leaked no. on this thing uh, because what they've done, they've sent this proposal to the Congressional Budget Office, and the right. Congressional Budget Office is coming up with what they call a score or a cost estimate on this provision, and then they will send it back to the senators. Now, if this thing scores at a decent amount of money, um, this is the breakthrough. If not, they have to send it back. Well, we'll see. And, and what's been going on, again, the controversy over the public plan, You've had liberals who've been insisting on it within the Democratic caucus. You've had centrist, moderates, conservative-leaning Democrats saying, we can't support the bill with that public plan in it. Well, as we, as we know, adversity or necessity is the mother of invention here. And Reid has come up with what I think is a very clever concept. We'll see if it's going to fly. We know that there are going to be some groups opposed to this. The hospitals, uh, really a lot of the physician groups, Medicare providers, Medicare device manufacturers and providers are going to be opposed to an expansion of mm -hmm. Medicare because the rates there aren't generous, and mm -hmm. we know that. And that's going to cause some controversy. And we have, yeah, and we have to see the the details Absolutely. before we come to any uh, sort of conclusion on that ourselves. This has been a, uh, like you said, a very uh, arduous process with the with the liberals and with the moderates. Now this is just between the the, the Democratic Party, the majority in the sure. Senate. <laughs> They're sure. not even talking. Uh, we're not even talking about the Republicans no, right now. No, except that I think with this new scheme, they're hoping they might have an opportunity to pick up one, maybe two Republican votes at most. And, of course, that is in doubt. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's going to force, I think, this new scheme. Uh, and really, I think you, you hit the nail on the head earlier in your reference about the Congressional Budget Office. What the CBO comes back with in terms of cost calculations 
will say a lot in terms of whether or not this is a realistic approach. They, they might have to further modify what they've come up with. A big question for us. We know we have important mm -hmm. provider non-discrimination provisions. One in the House bill, one in the Senate bill. How will they apply? How will it yep. apply to this new scheme? If they go a federal employee's health benefit type plan, would that, what we call the Harkin Amendment in there that we fought for, would it apply? Well, we are seeing Senator Harkin and Senators Dodd tonight. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to them one-on-one -on -one and see what we can learn about the details. And uh, we'll certainly be in there plugging for the provisions that benefit our patients and our constituency for sure. And exactly. I think they will too. They're hey, great champions. Great champions all. And Rick, the, the whole thing, we, we talk about the clock. Here we are. Here we are on December 9th. It's getting a little chilly here in Washington. Quite chilly. The, the legislative calendar, however, is getting smaller and smaller. They've got to get this score back from CBO. And I think if you listen carefully, you can hear some pencils breaking in the background oh, and some erasers at work. Uh, so they've got to get that score done. Then they have to probably procedurally uh, they, they have to go through the whole motion, the cloture motion that right. we've talked about several times in order to cut off the bait. That could take days just sure. to get to that sure. vote. So whether or not they, they meet this Christmas deadline, boy, that's really still well, up in the air right now. It, it is still up in the air, and, and there are any number of ways this, even this new scheme, it looks like, could fall apart. Again, very little detail about it, and as we know, the devil is in the details. I'm still sticking with my earlier prediction. I think it was included in, in our last video or, or maybe one of the earlier ones. I think at the end of the day, Majority Leader Reed is going to be able to get the 60 votes he needs to end the debate on this bill and bring it to the floor for a final vote. I think that vote's going to be successful, so I think you're going to see legislation move out of the Senate. I tend to think it will happen before Christmas, but golly, it's anybody's guess right now. Well, I agree with you. I think they're going to get the 60 votes. I'm still sticking by, which I think I said this back in July, Christmas Eve. Well, <laughs> so Christmas Eve. I think it's getting there. Christmas Eve or early January, uh, we'll be able to return the Christmas presents we don't like. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Folks, we're engaged up here on Capitol Hill every day. We ask you to become engaged as well and get your patients engaged. Yes. Go, go to www.chirovoice.org. Get them on the Patient Advocacy Network. We need those folks. Also, for all the updates, all the talking points, go to www.aca today slash HCR, stands for Healthcare Reform. You can get all the updates there. Rick? Thank you very Thank much, you, sir. John. We'll see you Good next to see week. You. God bless.